Hey, orange one here. So uh, we are sieging down a castle. Um, castle Usnak? I don't, I'm not sure how to, how to pronounce that. It's right by Sharas, and we're kind of we're kind of far away from the castle that we have been sieging and taking. But I saw that this had only 100 defenders, so I figured let's go for it. You know, um, we do have an inbound army with the king here. And they actually have, I think, more uh, units than I do, but we have this place um, pretty much all knocked down. So we'll, we'll siege this down and then hopefully be able to get inside the castle. We might have to leave some people behind. We'll see. I might have to leave one of my companions behind with some prisoners. I don't know. I don't want to give them prisoners because that's going to boost their army, but uh, also at the same time, I think we just need to make sure that we get inside this castle because they don't have twice as many of as us like because that really is what you need to do to take out a castle especially if the walls are still intact um yeah i don't know if i want to be risking this right now there's a dude right in there that i can kind of see oh that was that was close there we go. Oh. No. We're like, yeah. Super close there. Yeah, we're pretty far away, so even with this, this bow that kind of shoots up a little bit before it shoots down, it's, uh, it's got quite a bit of ways to go before it gets to them. Guy keep on just being a little bit off from him. Okay. I need to take an inventory of the arrows that I've got around us. I think those are mostly bolts, because these are Vlandians. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, let's just get my shield. Hold on, guys. I need to check this out. Is this... Yeah, it's a bolt. I, I suspect as much. So I gotta find an archer that got killed. Or an arrow bucket, but I'm not seeing the arrow bucket, so uh, it's a shame. We do have our siege uh, tower over there, which is probably going to be how we end up going into the city. Or uh, not city, this uh, castle. So I do need to keep that in mind. Maybe I'll just go over to you guys and we'll, we'll give you cover from here. Is this the same layout as the castle that I was defending? I know it's a different castle, but I feel like it's the same layout. Like they've reused the layout, which, you know, they said they were going to be doing that, but... I'm just not sure if that is what's happening. Um, let's do like that. Oh, nice. <laughs> Headshot. Okay. Let's get a little bit closer. Are you archers doing? You got some people that you got in sight? Yes, you do. Okay, cool. Let's see if uh, we can get in on this. Sorry, dude. I'm like blocking your, your shot. Oh, he's got a shield. I see how this is. Oh, okay. Well, I'm out of arrows. And these guys aren't really being shot right now. Which is probably a good thing, but you know. It means that I haven't got much to do. Okay, they are ramming, but my experience so far has been that the rams... They, like, knock down the outer wall, and then when they have that down, they don't actually attack the inner wall. And why are we only getting that, like, four people climbing up there? Here we go. We got some movement. But they seem to be going, for the most part, over there. That is strange. We really should be climbing up here. This is like a pretty good place to be entering into a siege from. Oh man, am I gonna be on the front line? I need to make sure I don't die. Dude, look at that guy's like little uh, rag or whatever. What unit are you? I don't, I don't know what you are. I think you're one of like the Bedouin dudes. Oh look, I can climb with just my feet. Dude, that was uh, that was pretty crazy. And is that what I think it is? Yeah, they've just all like balled up there and we've got a couple people attacking. <gasps> Guys. I have arrows. 
here we go. Alright, so we have arrows. And we got a nice uh, line of sight on these bozos here. Oh, could I please get the archer? Oh, are those all archers? Yeah, it looks like they're just all balled up down here. And so I'm going to just be able to pick on them a little bit. It looks like our units are actually getting in there as well. Oh look, they're they're kind of falling back. I think that they're... I don't know where they're going. Is there like a second yard or something over there? Can I get to it from over here? Or am I going to have to jump onto the roof? The building. I just am curious about where they went, to be honest. Oh look at this, this is so cool. Oh, we're missing them killing the last of those dudes down there. It's fine. I think it, we've... Oh, look what we got here. Yeah, there's like this whole courtyard over here. Cool. Yeah. And they're coming in through there as well. Man, we just like... Took this whole place, like every entrance into this place, really. You know, considering that this is a siege... We're actually getting decent frames per second. I'm pretty happy with that. The lighting in this game, though, man, check this out. I uh, I was looking at this a little bit, um, but look at the buildings. Uh, not here, but like with those windows and doors and stuff, like you can't see out of them when you're inside. Like, look, I'm like trying to look out there, but I can't actually see out there because it's looking at this indoor space. But if I go in first person and look out like that, I can. I can actually kind of make it out a little bit. Um, so, if you are in a siege, just kind of keep that in mind. Um, if you're trying to shoot people through those little holes, you're going to want to go in first person. Like these little, um, I forgot the term for them. But those little slits. Okay, that door's just like, all kinds of messed up. But these things right here, like look, you can't really see, right? But if you look like that, you totally can. I don't know. I like the dynamic lighting. I thought it was pretty cool. Okay, we have one. I don't think I'm going to take the prisoners because I just need to be quick on my feet to get in this castle. Um, oh man, look at how many, how many people we have. We actually like lost like almost nobody. Can we get inside there? Are they actually... Got, they're going to run away from me. Oh. <gasps> Oh man, that went so much better than I could have hoped for. Um, we just donated a ton of troops though. Yeah, so we just lost a good amount of our army there. I'm going to just kind of hang out in here, I think, just for a little bit. Um, I don't know if I'm going to donate troops. I'm just going to wait for a little bit. And then we'll, now that those guys have kind of left. Oh wow, look at that. Can I catch him? Is he kind of run towards me? Why are you running towards me? And what's going on with my speed? I'm just kind of curious as to why it's 4.1. Um, I mean, it, it just seems that our party speed at space speed is kind of low. Okay, well, let's kind of just take a little inventory of what's going on here. That's the castle that we had been defending. It's kind of like my little keep. Um, I think I probably want to make my way back up and follow those big armies that were up here. I don't know who's where. There's It looks like someone over there and then someone over here. Um, someone's at Shiraz. We should probably head over there. Uh, that only has 78 people defending it, so we'll have to keep an eye on things. Oh, also check out um, what's going on with this feudal inheritance and Legata buildings. Wait, Legata buildings? Do I own Legata? Guys, I didn't even. Did they just give me Legata? Have I have I been like good enough where they're like, yeah, here's here's a city, dude. Um, I am tempted to like make these guys in charge of their own party, but I think they're with me, and so they just like get destroyed. We need to do that when we're a little bit more safe. Um, 
let's have a look at yeah so we've got like basically um a city and a couple um whatchamacallits like castles but look at how much influence we're starting to generate from uh council of the commons i've forgotten wh what exactly that is oh um owner of usnak uh I don't know who I want to give this to. I mean, what does the two thing mean? Does that show like their tier level? You have a castle, you have a castle. I don't know what castle that is that you've got. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with you because you're like the, like, the mercenary group that's like the sorry mercenary group sorry dude you're gonna not like me for this cool whoa <laughs> increased by a hundred <laughs> or no um did it increase by a hundred or did i misread that was that my charm it was the 100 uh yeah that's a great way to get people to love you so i'm just curious if i go to the encyclopedia if I go to heroes, um, maybe not heroes, that's, I think what I want to do is I want to go to my own encyclopedia. So if I click there, is that guy my friend now? Yeah, he and I are total hombres. He loves me. Oh sweet, that's super cool. So I got, I got a friend there. It's like, hey, thanks for the castle. Uh, Thoracite is being besieged. Um, do I want to help them take the city, or do I want to get in on that castle defense? Hmm. I think we want to help them take the city. Let's just check out what's going on with the city. Because I think that they're supposed to be assembling an army here? No. Can I take that city? Should I dare try? I think I'm going to go for it. I, I think that uh, I just want to check to see how our faction is doing compared to their faction in the war, but I think we could go for it, and we might be okay. Uh, Adwa is he's trying to go to the city, so if I siege it, do they change their plan? They must. How much food do I have? Uh, 114 days till no food. Is that guy gonna go in the city or no? No, I think that at the very least this is gonna hurt their economy. Um, I did see, watch someone's tutorial on it. Um, I forgot his name, but there was some dude who was showing you how to siege down cities. And we're gonna want some trebuchets. If this is gonna work, which I don't know if it's gonna work or not, we might need to bounce out of here. But... We need to basically build these and then put them in reserve and then use them all at the same time. I'll show you what I mean once once we got this um, built we'll have those barricades up. We're pretty terrible at engineering right now actually so this is pretty slow going for us but if we look at it, um, I could put a focus point in, it in the next level that might be worth doing. Yeah we're definitely not leading an assault right now that's a great way to Oh look, they just crushed them. Dirt Heart just got crushed by them. New car, new cars, armies. Um, looks like it's doing pretty well there. I forgot to check our progress in the war, but I'm pretty sure we're crushing them. Let's let's just do that really quick. Uh, diplomacy, Landia. Yeah, we've inflicted a lot more casualties. I think that's how it works. And we've got we're stronger than them. We've got uh, more of their prisoners. Uh, we've had a lot more successful sieges and raids. Yeah, I think because they haven't really come down to our territory at all, as far as I'm aware. Let's go ahead and just pass time a little bit. Yeah, Tavil's under attack. Hopefully um, people can kind of keep them at bay while we're sieging this uh, city down. And the other... Our faction's taken multiple cities as it is. So this right here, I need to move to reserve like immediately. And then they're gonna try, oh look, I got another kid. 
Um, I'm gonna just leave them with their their name the game gave it to them for now. How's our party doing? More recruits. Maybe I should have gotten more recruits. I kind of feel like I should have. I'm also kind of tempted to take one of my companions and tell them to just kind of get out of the army and then have them chase these guys off. Because it is making me just like a little nervous having all these guys around. Um, we'll get like all these trebuchets made and then we'll start actually seeing what we, we can do here. Uh, move to reserve. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to actually work. Oh, look, we actually almost ran out of cohesion there. I uh, should be paying more attention there. Maybe I could send for someone else. How many people are close to us that we could send for? And that says you're two days away. Eh, you're like a day away. Sure. If you can get past those other groups, that'd be great. Just add a little bit more of a numbers advantage. Um, Was that what I thought it was? Was that like a 200 stack? I think I just saw like a 200 stack. Our engineering just went up. Uh, yeah, Vartan. Um, I think that this has proven to got we've gotten to the point where I am no longer comfortable doing the siege. Sorry. <laughs> if I can keep out of the distance of that 200 stack, that would be fantastic. I can't. Great. Okay. Um, why am I moving so slow? Disorganized. Uh, is giving me a debuff of like one whole thing. Oh man, this may be, this may be really, really bad. Uh, if I do cohesion like that, does that give me better speed maybe? I think that we're in trouble, guys. I think that we could be in some serious trouble here. Yeah, this looks like this is gotta be bad. Okay, uh, well, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Um, could actually maybe bribe them <laughs> to go away. <laughs> what would it take? Oh, man. Okay, they, they want to fight it. They want to fight it out. Okay, uh, how is it that we have such good odds here? I, I don't understand, because they have significantly more people than us. Um, we'll see how this goes. I I feel like this was all because I got way overconfident over there. Command! Um, actually, yeah, I think that they're probably doing what I would do, which is going for this high point right here, which is good. Um, I think I need to be proactive here and try and get this these cab um, taken out as much as possible, as fast as possible. Their infantry and their archers are gonna be just like too much for me, but like as you guys have seen before, I can I can usually um, twist and weave between the horses a little bit. So if I can be like, "Yo, come here," they'll all chase after me, right? Yeah, come here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, that's how you do it right here. Are you guys mine or theirs? You're theirs. Okay. Oh. Come on. Okay, that was the horse, but that was a pretty solid hit. And yeah, I think that we we're starting to lose them. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, that dude's coming at me pretty quick. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, is that with the pole arm, is that they kind of lower the shield to try and hit you, which gives you a pretty nice opportunity to get them. Um, let's try and get these other horsemen. It seems that we're we're killing it, um, quite literally. I just need to keep the horsemen off their their backs. As much as possible. 
I think. Yeah, you guys can keep on trying to do your thing. Um, yeah, we are actually, it looks like we may have this, uh, this victory. Okay, the, that is a lot of archers there. We are, god, there's, they had so many recruits when they came to fight us here. Like, I, I don't know if you're watching the, the feed off the side there, but it's like all recruits. It's actually gotten so bad that it's actually making my computer stutter a little bit. Actually, significantly. Man, that is that is crazy. What is going on? Okay. It keeps on going from, like, as you can see in the corner there, like 80 frames to, like, 30. It happened, like, multiple times. <laughs> I, I know I should feel bad, but I don't. Okay. Oh well, he like ducked there. I feel like. Man, we we not only won, we won by like a large margin. I don't know if I want to go back and try and siege that castle though. Is that a Fian? I think that was a Fian. Um come on. Jeez, that is a tough unit. Yeah, that was totally a Fian. They are beefy boys. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that was pretty that was pretty weak. I know that you guys might want me to just skip ahead. Oh, look, they've they've got the will to fight now. All of a sudden, they've they've got gained enough morale. I didn't know that they could do that. Oh, jeez, no. There's a lot of them over here. I guess the fight isn't over now. If I go over here, no. I guess it is over. I, I'm confused because those guys were trying to kill me. If I okay, wait, I can unfinish a fight and then get back in there? What? What have I been doing all this time? Uh, well, I mean, it's like that's really gonna change much. But there is a large group of archers here that need to die, and it looks like they are. I don't think it's those Fians, honestly. They lasted a long time. I mean, they're not all Fians. There's some crossbowmen there. Still, you know what I mean. Oh, that was one of my guys? That looks like... I mean, we've been fighting a lot of dudes that look like that. Yeah, we're definitely getting into the point of the unit composition where it's very, very, very confusing. My army is like a complete hodgepodge mix of everything, which is perfect for an Asari character, merchant character. A little god rays there, because our eyes are cameras. Um, I'm gonna end that. That was a lot of renown. I mean, we did just like crush all those lords. God, we're gonna get a lot of relation from that. Look at how many lords this is. I could be executing like the entire faction right now. <laughs> if I wanted to. But I don't. They're gonna like all want to join uh, my faction if I ever do start a faction. That'd be sweet. I need to just like not be overconfident though, because that was probably um, a pretty big blow to our our units. I mean, honestly though, I think it made us stronger, and it made all the people that were with us in the army probably stronger too. I don't think there's a way to look at that in a bad way. Well, man, I should have probably picked up some of those prisoners. Oh, well. I'll be extra quick. Um, yeah, see, now we've got how many injured? Is that 57? Is that what it says? Yeah, now we've only got like 300 something against the 220 there. Um, I think... I think this is the point where 
I tell these other lords to go do their own thing, and we um, we try and recruit some people and kind of fall back a little bit. Um, maybe, yeah, we're definitely going to fall back from Shiraz, though. That's, that's a definite uh, yes. That's definitely happening. I might want to hold on to the rest of them just to kind of see what happens. Because um, we might want to use them. We might want to, like... I don't know. We definitely want to drop off all the prisoners that we just got at this uh, castle. And then we'll go from there. Um, are those places my, like, um, thief, or, thief or whatever, is that still uh, under siege? Oh, were you? Did I tell you to come join me? I think I did. So I don't understand with the like war thing how it works with you being able to tell what's under siege and when. I I think that that's something that they need to work on with the UI, the map. But I'm sure that they are. Uh, there's these castles. Uh, where are these castles? There's that. That's pretty far away from me. What about this? That's also pretty far. That's also towards Legata. Maybe I should go check out Legata. Yeah, we should go towards our, our new uh our new colony, right? Oh man, look at all these looters. This is a problem. Um Tell you what, army. Lords. Go do your own thing. We're all good. We're we're good here. Um I'm just gonna take my my own brace here and we're gonna fall back. And y'all can be glorious fighters in uh in this war i think that i mean let's, let's just go to the kingdom thing just to see just to confirm how this works uh yeah i'm pretty sure oh wow they actually got more a lot more troops all of a sudden and i think we lost some in any case i'm i'm looking at my troops here and i'm thinking we might want to fall back um you know, I'll, I'll take that quest. I'll take those troops. And it looks like our village is being raided. So that is something... Oh, they don't trust me. Yeah. I wouldn't trust me either. I did raid this place quite a bit. <laughs> Not that long ago. Um, the dates here are not the worst price. I'll take some dates. Yeah, we'll go to this city, that city, and then maybe we'll make our way back towards the castle. Oh man, she's pregnant again. Uh, Garantor, there's a base around here. I kind of want to go clear that out, but from what I remember, it's kind of hard to get to. Um, I'm also going towards this city because if you remember correctly, we're pretty good friends with um, the noblemen in the city. Like, the people around here hate me, but the nobles um, are pretty tight pretty cool um oh man they don't have too many units though well we'll get the mercenaries that are in the bar and we'll get moving again and we already have picked up quite a few recruits just kind of moving around and then actually i think we've got some prisoners here Man, I thought we were going to get to actually use, like, trebuchets and everything. And we probably could have. We probably could have pushed it. I just felt like um, it just wasn't the right time. Oh, how many people are there? There's, like, 20-something of them. Let's go do that. Let's, let's go get this quest. If it's the right camp, that is. If it isn't, then... And these guys never give me units anyways. Yeah, I'll go I'll go take care of this bandit base. I've got such good gear that this should be a walk in the park, honestly. Um man, it is I think we have to go up and around though to get to it, which is super annoying. That base spawns there. And all of these units are gonna be cleared out, so I'm not gonna be able to recruit much from there. Uh, I could attack that. It's also good that I'm wandering around here because then I'm gonna be able to maybe catch anyone trying to raid like these castles and we're not too far from Usnak. i think if it got sieged we probably could get there in time to 
fight in the siege. I'm not sure though. Oh, I should have when we were back at those cities uh, left one of my companions there to um, uh, get an army. Yeah, and it's actually pretty much night right now. Oh look, the Vlandians got attacked again there. Okay, so this is gonna be, from what I've heard, uh, you pull from the top of your list. So we probably want our highest tier dudes at the top here. Um, but it's also kind of random. So these things can also crash the game. So I am going to save a little, like right before. Uh, all right, I, I, it hasn't crashed my game for me, but I just saw that last night. So I'm a little bit skeptical about it. But I want to be on the safe side. So, um, yeah, let's just do a, a quick little save. Cool. And then, I, I think we'll do this to end the episode. I know that we are technically at the half an hour point, but... <laughs> yeah, if I can if I can kill Hillman like that, this isn't going to be so bad. Are they javelin throwers, or is that stones? I think that's like a stone. Yeah. Yeah, that looked like a stone to me. Um, there looks like there's quite a few of them. Yeah, that, that's... This is a little bit more enemies than what I thought I was signing up for. Also, it doesn't look like I have a whole lot of arrows, but... I don't think we're gonna need too many arrows, if I'm completely honest. Oh, you got some throne spears, huh? Yeah, I've I've spent uh, plenty of time in the arena, so I know how to counter in one one on one combat pretty decently. What I need to do is actually, guys, can you follow me, please? Don't just hang back there. Kind of weird. Is that yeah? There's uh, five of them there. I want to wait till my compatriots are with me before I attack that group. Um. Take that Hellman. Oh, that dude. Oh, he almost got me actually. Oh man. Uh oh. Those javelins. Uh, they're so annoying. Oh. Yeah, I thought that dude was gonna throw his javelin. There we go. Highway man. Oh, that dude was tough, huh? Okay. Well, I think that we're winning by the looks of the count here. Uh, they do actually... I might want to take some of these javelins. I'm not sure. Uh, I still got seven arrows. I, I think we'll stay with the arrows. And our shield's looking pretty good, even though it's got a couple javelins in it. I wish that you could knock those off. That's always been something that's bothered me. Warband shields, you know. Um... I don't see any people here. I don't think there's anyone here. Must be down the stream. And yeah. Oh, come on. I hate the javelin throwers. They like hit so hard. Oh, ow. That was bad. That was really dumb of me. I like, totally thought I could swing faster than him. Couldn't. I need to be careful. If I'm gonna duel the mountain bandit king or whatever. Oh, jeez. I didn't even see that that guy was throwing javelins. I'll take your javelins. Mostly because I don't want my companions doing it. Nope. Yeah, I'll take up the highwayman. Oh. There we go. Come on, that that dude's tough. These dudes have like some serious armor. The guys that we're fighting. Is that all of them? Okay, that's all of them. Um, I think that I've got good enough 
armor to take him on 1v1 right now. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go for the extra noun for now. Yeah. The AI is not very good at 1v1 combat. <laughs> it's like free money. Or free renown, essentially, to do it that way. Okay, cool. So we just cleared that out. And the locals should all like me a little bit more. Hopefully, they'll forgive me for my um, previous misdeeds. I don't think they will, but not that quickly, though. At least. I think they, you know, eventually, eventually, the Vlandians, they will like me. Um, I only got one extra renown from that, actually. Um, he's he likes me though, and the locals probably like me as well a fair amount. Uh, oh, okay. So the sorry did lose a battle, pretty big one. Looks like there. Um, we should probably get back to the war then. Um, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.